T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. Approximately 50 minutes after launch, the spacecraft separates from the upper stage of the launch vehicle. Um, six minutes after that, uh, the spacecraft transmitter sends a signal back to Earth, which is received by the tracking stations. Once uh, we receive that signal, we're ready to send our first command up to the spacecraft, and that actually marks the beginning of the cruise phase. Entry, descent, and landing, also known as EDL, is referred to as the seven minutes of terror, because we've got literally seven minutes to get from the top of the atmosphere to the surface of Mars, going from 13,000 miles an hour to zero in perfect sequence, perfect choreography, perfect timing, and the computer has to do it all by itself with no help from the ground. It, if any one thing doesn't work just right, it's game over. The parachute is the largest and strongest supersonic parachute that we've ever built to date. It has to be able to withstand 65,000 pounds of force, even though the parachute itself only weighs about 100 pounds. 20 meters above the surface, we have to lower the rover below us on a tether that's 21 feet long, and then gently deposit it on its wings on the surface. 